Okay, guys, welcome to Don's Little Hobbies. Now, I'm playing a little bit of catch up here because I have no idea season two of Raven's New Home was out. I, I did not stay up to date with any of the news for this show at all simply because it kind of left my mind that it even existed. To be honest with you, uh, there's a whole lot of other stuff going on in my life and everything that I don't know. This just didn't, didn't hit my mind that Raven's New Home Season 2 was coming out. And now I believe uh, they're up to episode, was it 8? 9? So I'm playing a little bit of catch up here. Um, I do not plan to make a video for every single episode. I plan to make a video for every few episodes. And only if something really big uh, catches my eye, you know? Like, some of the episodes, they're not filler, but they're just episodes. It's not like when you have a continuous story, like anime, uh, where every single little chapter, um, little part of the episode means something massive. But I will definitely say this. I absolutely love this show. I grew up on shows like this and I did a video that I'm calling, well I don't know what I'm calling it exactly, I, I think I'm calling it what Raven's New Home means to people who grew up in the uh, early 2000s because I grew up in the early 2000s, I'm 21 for anyone who cares and this is what shows were like. They they didn't feel like complete ripoffs. They they were uh, they were fun. They were goofy. They were products of the times. But you know, they had a sense of charm to them. And I talk about all of that in that video. So go ahead and check that out. I'll leave a D. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Um, when it comes to this episode, though, when it comes to season two. I was not expecting this at all, what happened in this episode. Okay, so let me get into it. So, what happens is apparently Raven has a new job, and she's getting quite a lot of cash. But the problem is, Booker has a vision saying, uh, Raven saying that her cash is gone. So the kids come up with, an, uh, with a crazy idea trying to get the cash away from their mom uh, to make sure they protect it. The problem is, it's their mom's cash and not theirs even though they act like it's theirs, you know. It's it's one of those things, it's, it shows how selfish kids are. Um, even when I was a kid, I was like that and it just feels genuine, it feels real, and I just really like the dynamic uh, that's coming from uh, the characters, you know. I just really li like the fact that they actually feel like kids, and yet they're very smart. Um, and that's how shows used to be growing up, you know? They, these kids were all pretty smart, but pretty goofy at the same time. The shows actually taught kids lessons, and this episode, th these two episodes, are no, they're, they're no exception to that. It's just great. So anyway, I'm not going to go through the entire episode, but basically what happens is eventually they snap the cat, uh, Ash, from uh, their mom's car, and before they could get, uh, get home, before they could get home, Raven was apparently giving the, this guy with a bird a pickup because she's kind of like a taxi driver. I, I forget what they're call what they're calling it, but he she let the bird out and the bird flew off and apparently she made an enemy of not the guy but the bird. So there's this whole weird weird kind of side story. It's really really fun. What I like about old shows and you know what newer shows don't do this anymore especially during what I call the dark times of television. All of the so uh, all of the old shows that I used to grow up with had small side stories, but in the end, 
they all collapsed into one story. And the side story with this one is Chelsea I actually having somewhat of a competition with Tess. And I, I, and I love the fact that I remember her name, Tess. You know, from last season, I don't know if it's because of what happened last season that maybe they said something to her, but Tess, in this season, so far, these first two episodes, again, I've only seen the first two episodes of the season, so I'll have to see the rest, but in the first season, Tess seemed very, very annoying to me. Um, I didn't really mind it, it was just a product of the show, but in this season, I don't know, I... I don't know if they said something to her or what, but they're directing her a little bit different, I feel. I feel like she's less annoying and more of a genuine character. And I love the fact that I actually remembered her name, you know? Because a lot of the times last season, I only remembered maybe four names, Raven and Chelsea, how can you forget those two? And then I remembered Booker and Levi. I did not remember the two girls' names, Tess and Nia. And I am so happy that I remember Tess and Nia's name. Because here's the thing. Last season, it wasn't just Tess. But as much as I enjoyed Nia, I never felt like she was a big part of the cast. Just, just for some reason... I never, I don't know, I never felt any connection with Nia, even though she did go through genuine kid problems in the show and everything. Nia just, I couldn't even remember Nia's name, she, she just seemed like a Raven Wambi from the first season. In this season, however, in this season, not only do I remember her name from just these first two episodes, but I really like how they're directing the character and how they're writing the character. She she feels a lot more like a larger part of the show than she was in the first season, which I am really, really happy about that. And again, that has nothing to do with the actors. The actors in the show, the kid actors especially, oh god, they have some real talent. Especially the guy who plays Levi. I, I don't remember, I don't know anyone's real name, but Levi, the character, who, the guy who plays Levi is brilliant. And as for Levi, the character, I hope they never change the character. I mean, sure, they could maybe expand on the character, but don't change the character too much, because I absolutely love Levi. And in this episode, let, let's get back to the episode. Okay, so, like I said, she caused pro uh, pro um, some, with a bird, and then Tess actually had kind of a competition with uh, Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea basically took her to school, playing a game of basketball, making her have to garden with her, because Chelsea is apparently gardening now. And the kids, because of the money, they, they want to hide the money from their mom. So her mom, Raven, hates dirt, so they hide it in the garden. And Chelsea now has the garden, so she starts digging up dirt, and she doesn't realize she's not looking. She actually digs up the bag and tosses it over and it hits it hits a bunch of wet concrete they go to actually fix the uh, the problem they go to get the bag and everything and I just like how the goofiness of the show has them trying to get the bag without basically getting, getting into the cement which I, I just found it funny but, unfortunately, Raven shows up by their home, just in time for Levi getting the bag. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, is she gonna see this bag? I can't wait for her to see the bag. And, somehow, she never sees the bag. It was so funny. But, eventually, by the end of the episode, 
they bring Levi up to uh, the roof where Chelsea and Tez are gardening, and it turns out that they have the bag. Of course, they, uh, they have to somehow answer what is going on to Raven, and Booker never told Raven about the fact that he has visions. And I understand why, and it, they brought that plot up early in the episode as well, I didn't really talk about it, but they brought that plot up early in the episode as well. And I thought that this was just going to be a creative little statement. I never thought that Booker was ever going to tell Raven about him having the visions. I thought this won't happen until the end of the season. The uh, end of uh, the series. Not the season, but the series. Because a lot of the times when big things like this happen, it's usually not until either in the middle of the show randomly or at the very end of the series. Um, and most series don't have more than about three or four seasons, so if it has more than four seasons, it was obviously a really good show, because a lot of the time, a lot of shows on Disney do not get more than a fourth season. So I hope that isn't a, a bad sign on, I hope that isn't a sign that maybe Raven's new home isn't going to get more than a second or maybe third season. Because most of the time they usually only get four seasons. Uh, uh, if it's a really good show they get more than that, but I, I don't know. I hope that isn't a bad sign because I'm really starting to like the this show. With that said, she find uh, I mean Booker finally tells Raven he has visions. I was not expecting him to tell her that. And I just love how Booker stands up and owns to it, too. Like, he just, I don't know, he just seems like a much more well-rounded character from the first season. And it's only been two episodes, so I can't wait to see more. And then Raven, and, and they kind of do a cliffhanger here. Chelsea tries to convince Raven to tell the kids that she has visions too. And I thought what they were going to do was I thought they were going to do a cop-out where now Raven knows Booker has uh, ha it has visions but she not gonna, she's not going to tell him that she has visions but turns out they didn't do that. Turns out she actually tells him in the very next episode. And it was so good that I did not even realize that Booker's vision of Raven saying the money's gone never came true. It never came true in that first episode. Then in the second episode, uh, while they're wondering about the cash and how are they going to get the cash out of uh, that cement bag, turns out Raven actually didn't put the cash in, uh, in Pinky the bag. She actually stuck it in the dirt. She basically had the exact same idea the kids did. She brings it out, she holds it up, she says, yes, my money! And then the falcon, I don't remember the falcon's name, but remember the bird, the bird, the episode before that apparently made, Raven made enemies with? Yeah, it comes back and it steals her cash. And then Booker's vision comes true. So then the rest of the episode is all about, uh, Booker and Raven having pretty much now a a uh, mother-son connection and they're trying to see future visions and there's even this one cool moment where both of them actually have the same vision at the same time. That was actually really, really cool. But unfortunately, Nina is starting to feel left out of the game because she doesn't have visions, and she's seen Booker and Raven hang out more because of it. And I just, for some reason, I just understand what she's going through. It's very understandable, and I love the fact, I love the fact that they're writing the characters the way that they are. Anyway, the rest of the episode pretty much consists 
of her acting like she has visions, and I knew from the very beginning that she had no vision. Okay? She tells her mom that she has visions too. Her mom gets it signed for her. Uh, she, t she tells her mom a fake vision. She tries to make the vision come true and it ends up not exactly working. Uh, it ends up not exactly working the way that they want it to, but at the same time, for some reason, she has, it's brought up in the, in the rest of the episode as well, early on in the episode, but she has an app on her phone to call Falcons, and she eventually, by the end of the episode, ends up calling uh, the Falcon with Raven's money. And then she goes and grabs the Falcon's money. And I love the fact that the Falcon is just hanging out on Levi's uh, hand, and it's like, Levi, take the cash. Raven, take the cash. The cash is right there, and it's Nia that grabs the cash. And what I found funny, I didn't talk about this, but at the beginning of the uh, of the first episode, Raven's laying down in a bath full of cash. Well, guess what? At the end of the second episode, because it's supposed to be like a two-part episode, Nia is laying down in the bath full of cash because she is the one who saved it. I, I don't know. I I love this episode. I thought these two episodes were brilliant. I am so glad that Raven's New Home has this second season. And I can't wait to see more. With that said, I'm going to go watch episode 3, 4, 5, and... Maybe after episode 6, I'll do another video about it. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Like, share, subscribe for more. Because I will be talking about Raven's New Home a lot more. I'm really, really liking the show. It, it feels just like when I was a kid watching Ra watching That's So Raven. So, oh, it, it's, just, it's just great. Anyway, guys, I'm out. Bye.